Wow. Must be Christmas. Got like four different packages here. And no, these aren't all Nummy Cron clocks. There's a few other items. Try to spice it up and make it a little more interesting. Plastic. And this is pretty nice. It's an Indian Chief belt buckle. More or less three dimensional. A real good deal on it. Looks sharp. Okay, box is in good shape. This is from Arizona, so it's probably something Indian related. Also very hard to open. Oh, there's a tear tab here in this one. And yes, it's got peanuts in it, but it's also got bubble wrap. <laughs> Stuff's never damaged when it's wrapped in this stuff. This is a massively huge bolo tie made out of a real arrowhead. There's the clip so you can get an idea just how large this is. Well, the lighting isn't too good, but... It does need a new strap. The strap is pretty, pretty beat up. Oop, drove over the bubble wrap again with my chair. But that's pretty cool. Okay. Now, I'm assuming that these two are Numicron clocks. Now this one is from Matchlock, Connecticut. It's nice and bulging, which means it's very well packed. There's no crushed damage whatsoever. Peanuts, bubble wrap. And shopping bag. I can tell just feeling this. This is an F7 time meter. Same clock as the uh, First Orbit Limited Edition, which was shipped with no box at all. This is actually one of the rarer Numicrons. So a couple of scuffs on the front which I'll have to rub out with turtle wax. Looks to be in good shape. Not cracked. This one was manufactured in 67. 9 of 67. F7C model. It's a standard penwood movement. From what I can feel, it feels like the minutes clip 
was working. Got that one really cheap too. I didn't have to fight with that anybody over that. I'm not sure why. Alright, this one is Bean Station, Tennessee. Before I open it, I just want to note for the record, it is crushed on this corner. So it doesn't look like that impacted the box any. Air packs. Yes, this is one of my favorite models. It is a Numicron. Bubble wrap. And this one's in the uh, Avocado green. Avocado. It's got a cigarette burn in the top of it here. I'm going to have to try to rub that out. It's very dirty. This is a model 770 manufactured in 1971, zero of 71. That's pretty filthy. Yeah, it's pretty filthy. And this clip looks to be in good shape. And it's got the original bulbs in it. The real tiny bulbs that they don't make anymore. And of course, everybody's just dying to find out. Do these clocks run? Because the motor is the most valuable part of the whole clock. I gotta plug in my power bar. Okay. Two thirteen on the Numicron and six oh three on the Numicron. They're both running. So it looks like it's just some time cleaning up and lubricating is all these guys need. Now, as far as I could figure out, they don't make these little tiny bulbs like this anymore in 110 volt. <coughs> People would put the 3 watt or 7 watt bulbs in. The 3 watt bulbs are fairly okay. The 7 watt bulbs end up melting the cabinets, the face plates. And some of the 765s have an asbestos heat shield up in here so that they don't melt as bad. This one might have one too. That's probably got blown bulbs in it. So this concludes the unboxing of a bolo tie and Indian belt buckle and two. Very cheaply acquired Numicron clocks. The Numicrons.